Hello, everybody, and welcome at the University of Ljubljana online session. We are happy that so many of you joined us today. Greeting also to all the participants uh, who are following us through the virtual hall na Kojicesh Fax. My name is Katja Cerar, and I'm responsible for the promotion of study and some support activities for international students and candidates. We will record today's sessions and publish them on our website. We will also share a video presentation with you uh, and we will send it to your email address. So choosing your study is one of the most important decision of your life. So we suggest that you think carefully what you enjoy as it makes studying much easier. Visit our websites and social networks of the faculties and academies you are interested in. If you need any advice or help, you can contact us or arrange an online consultation. We will do our best to provide you with all the information and answers to any questions you might have. I would also like to invite you to join us on Wednesday, 2nd March at 3 p.m., when we will organize a special Q&A sessions without any presentations, where we will be available only for all your questions you may have about the application admission procedure for undergraduate studies and for the recognition of secondary education. And we will also send you this application for registration to your email address. So what about today's event? Uh, first, I will briefly present you information about study possibilities, benefits for students, opportunities for learning Slovene language, scholarship possibilities, and other activities. After the general presentation, my colleague Tanya Zuzek from Admission Office will present you application admission procedure for bachelor and single cycle master studies. And after these presentations, we will invite you to join the breakout rooms according to your study interest, where you will be able to ask all your questions you may have and find out about degree programs you're interested in. With us is also Liliana Lazikic. Liliana is a student at our Faculty of Social Sciences, and she will share with you her insight and experience about studying at the University of Ljubljana and living in Slovenia. A few information about Slovenia. Slovenia is a very safe country, and uh, we recommend you that during your study, you take time to discover our beautiful green country where the Alps meet the Mediterranean and the Pannonian Plain. Slovenia is a sustainable destination of unique experiences that we enjoy sharing with you. Relative to its geography, history, culture, and language, it's a very diverse country. In, in Slovenia, you can swim in the sea and in the morning and climb in the mountains in the afternoon. As a student in Slovenia, you will have many benefits, from subsidized meals and transport to scholarship opportunities and possibilities for student work. Now I would like to invite Liliana to present you her experience with student work and procedures related to opening a bank account and obtaining a tax number in Slovenia. So uh, when it comes to students' work, you need to know that every student that is enrolled in studies in Slovenia or take an internship or study as a part of international exchange programs in Slovenia can work here. Uh, it does not matter that you're not a Slovenian citizen. Um, it is very easy to work here as a student. Uh, you can um, easily combine studies with your free time. Um, so most students really uh, work here. Uh, you just need to simply enroll in some of student job services, such as uh, Shudansky service, uh, to bring your ID, uh, bank account in Slovenia, and also Slovenian tax number. Um, well, that tax number is of, often something that is confusing for international students here. Um, it was at least for me when I came here. Uh, but it is actually a number that must be obtained um, for the purpose of uh, receiving income in Slovenia. 
So you just need to fill application uh, that you can find on the internet or at financial administration office uh, that is called Finanzni Urad and just send it uh, by post or hand in person at financial administration office. Um, when you search about information about it in Slovenia, the tax number is called the Davčna Stevilka. Uh, then when you receive Slovenian tax number, you can easily open bank account and any bank in Slovenia. Uh, some of them have really great deals for students. Liliana, thank you. Uh, now about a little bit uh, Ljubljana. Uh, Ljubljana is uh, the capital of Slovenia, where is also located our university. And it's very pleasant and beautiful city to live in. We have many museums, galleries, theaters, cinemas, also one of the oldest Philharmonic Orchestra in the world. There is our university, many institutes and libraries. City is surrounded by parks and protected areas of nature. And in the city center, you can find lots of pubs, restaurants, clubs, and shops. So our university is the oldest and largest higher education institution in Slovenia. It was established in 1919 with five member schools. At present, we have 26 members. We have 23 faculties and three arts academies which covers all fields of study, from art, fine arts, natural science, technology and engineering, to social sciences, humanities, medicine, health sciences, and sport. Most of our faculties and academies are located in the city center. Some of the most recent and modern buildings were constructed on the outskirts of Ljubljana, and all faculties Almost all, except the Faculty of Maritime Studies and Transport, are located in Ljubljana. Faculty of Maritime Studies and Transport is located in Portoroš by the sea. So uh, we have every academic year around 40,000 undergraduate and postgraduate students study at our university. And among them, we have this year, more than 9% degree-seeking international students from more than 100 countries. As you can see here on this slide, around three quarters of international students are coming from the Western Balkans region, mainly from North Macedonia, Serbia, Croatia, and Montenegro. We are proud that our university ranks among the top 3% of the universities in the world. An education acquired at the University of Ljubljana will allow you to gain the knowledge, practical experience and skills you need to succeed in your career wherever in the world you choose to work and live. So Liliana, could you please tell us why did you decide to study at the University of Ljubljana and when did you start planning your study here? Um, well, in fact, I found out about the possibilities of studying in Slovenia by accident. Uh, but when I started researching, I realized that Slovenia and more precisely Ljubljana is exactly the place where I want to live and study. Um, as I remember, it was around New Year. And after that, in February was application process. Um, and for me, everything seemed very easy. I decided to uh, study here because unlike other EU countries, it is quite close to my country. Um, also, the language is somewhat similar. And uh, because I believe that the atmosphere here is very similar to that in my country. And uh, that is very true. Uh, people here are very friendly and um, I'm very happy that I'm here. I don't know if we mentioned Liliana is coming from Serbia. Yes. So uh, according to Slovenian legislation, uh, we have to organize all programs in Slovene language. Uh, our faculties and academies offer some programs in English or other foreign languages. And you can find this information in the call for enrollment for the individual degree program you are interested in. 
And as the study is conducted mostly in Slovene language, as international student, you will have many opportunities to learn Slovene. Uh, you can attend Slovene language courses. Uh, we also prepared activity year plus, uh, which was specially designed to help international students acquire language and other skills and expertise in their chosen fields of study as well as the opportunity to learn the culture and history of Slovenia in general in the first year of bachelor and or master studies. And it also allows the extension of student status under certain condition. I would also like to point out that we have a limited number uh, for enrollment at the year plus activity. And there are also some special require some special requirements uh, to if you want to apply. Uh, for example, uh, if you are applying and you will be enrolled in the degree program, which already requires Slovene language uh, before the enrollment, uh, you cannot attend the year plus activity. And you can find more information here on this website. And uh, the novelty in the next academic year is intensive online course of Slovene language, which we will organize before the academic year 2022-2023. And uh, it will be intended for the candidates uh, who will be applying for the first time to the University of Ljubljana programs, uh, the bachelor or master level, and are interested also to participate in the year plus activity. Uh, these intensive online courses will be organized in September in first three weeks. It will be organized four hours per day. And here we will also have limited number of students. So please follow this website to find more information and apply when the application will be open. And then we also have uh, other possibilities to learn Slovene. Uh, we have prepared freely accessible online courses for foreigners. It's called Sloan Line, and it's prepared in eight different languages. Uh, and then you can also attend uh, online or classroom courses uh, of Slovene language, which are organized by our Center of Slovene as a second and foreign language. There are also some scholarship uh, covering tuition fee for learning Slovenian language, but these scholarships are available only for the members of Slovene ethnic minorities in other countries and the standards of Slovene immigrants. And at the moment, you can see that there are open application for the summer, autumn, winter and spring school of Slovene language. So now I will ask again Liliana uh, to tell us uh, how did you learn Slovenian language and um, did you have any challenges uh, following the lectures in the beginning of your studies? Um, so I didn't go to year plus, letter plus, because the number of applicants was filled. Uh, so from experience, I can tell you that um, it is possible to learn Slovenian also at a faculty. Uh, by listening to lectures, uh, talking to students from here. Um, also, working is one of the uh, best ways to learn language. And in general, just exposing, listening, and uh, trying to speak on the daily basis can help a lot. Um, I had the opportunity to do all the exams and seminars also in English um, or Serbia in the first year of faculty. Uh, because the professors were really very open to help. So there are those possibilities, probably not at all faculties, but I have heard from the experiences of others that it is at most faculties. And um, I really recommend all students to inform the professors at the beginning of their studies uh, that they are international students, uh, but also to use this opportunity to answer and write exams in another language only uh, at the beginning, because this will definitely uh, slow down uh, the process of learning Slovenian. So thank you, Liliana. Uh, our university also have career centers, uh, which provide students and graduates various activities in the fields of personal and professional development. And they also organize events where you can establish contact with potential employers and many other additional education and training courses. 
As our student, you will also have many possibilities for practical work and internship and a good access to library resources and services. And of course, you're welcome to attend concerts, exhibitions and performances organized by our academies and faculties. So Liliana, could you please share with us your insight about integrating into your studies and living in Slovenia? And um, please tell us what do you like most about your studies and what was your support um, uh, from professors and students and uh, other stuff? Yeah, so um, it is really wonderful for me here from the very beginning. I have never had any uncomfortable situation or did I feel bad about being a foreigner or international student. Uh, but every beginning is difficult and uh, it is necessary for you to accept others so that they can also accept you. Um, as a great advantage of Ljubljana, I would like to point out that in addition to people from Slovenia, you will also meet people from uh, very different countries, uh, mostly from the former Yugoslavia. So um, it is really a wonderful experience because we all hang out here, learn from each other, um, and we help each other a lot. Um, as for the studies themselves, I have never had the opportunity to study in another country. But from the experience of people I know, when I compare uh, with studying here, I can say that the studies here are very focused on practical application. Um, theory and practice are equally represented uh, with the fact that you will uh, not have to learn thousands, or thousands of pages for exam. Um, everything is very interactive. We always have a lot of projects, group works, uh, seminar papers. Um, also, when we talk about university, I think that today the support uh, of university is greater than ever. Uh, you can really see the great work and effort of university to make um, easier uh, as possible for students to come and stay here. Also, the university organizes various activities. You can always ask for help with anything. Uh, there is also a psychological um, support for students. You can really ask for help with anything at any time. Um, and also, as I explained earlier, when I talked about learning Slovenian, uh, professors will always help you. Um, but I just advise you to really inform them that you are an international student. Okay, now let's talk about degree programs. Uh, our degree programs range across all fields of study and are internationally renowned, comparable and professional attractive, which provides for good and varied international mobility of students and staff. We have accredited more than 400 degree programs at bachelor, master and doctoral level. And here on this slide, you can see the number of programs which are offered or, or will be offered for the next academic year. And offering studies in all fields is increasingly rare, even on global scale. And our aim is to ensure that students transfer the knowledge and competences they acquire into practice in the best possible way. So our university, our faculties and academies offer 21 doctoral degree programs, which lasts four years, except program governance and economics in public sector, which lasts three years. And some organized forms of study at the doctoral level are usually carried out in smaller group. And um, if there is enrolled international students, teachers and students agree uh, and settle the language uh, for the lectures. And also as a doctoral student, you can apply, uh, um, employ at the faculty or academy as a young researcher. And the call is usually published in May or June. And you can find more information here on this website, or you can contact our doctoral school for more information. Slovenia has a national online system for enrollment and recognition of foreign education. 
and my colleague Tanya will later uh, present you an explained application, admission application procedure for uh, enrollment into bachelor and single cycle master uh, degree programs. So I would like to advise you to listen carefully Tanya's presentation. Uh, and uh, my colleagues from the faculties will explain the procedures for individual master and PhD program in the breakout rooms later. Um, I already mentioned that you can find all relevant information about the offered degree programs, enrollment requirements, language, duration, number of available slates in the call for enrollment, which is published uh, on our website. At the moment, is open call for enrollment into bachelor and single cycle master degree programs and um, call for enrollment into master's and PhD degree programs is expected to be published at the end of February or in the beginning of March. And uh, here on this si uh, slide, you can find information about the application periods. You can see that applications for bachelor and single cycle master degree programs already opened on 15 February. And uh, for master and doctoral degree program, uh, you will have to check the deadline in the call for enrollment for specific degree program. Uh, usually application periods is from May to September, but it's best to check uh, the call for enrollment for the specific master or PhD degree program. Um, so um, to help you with application procedure, we organize online counseling. You can apply um, through portal Popper, and you can also join us at Q&A session on 2nd March at 3 p.m., where we will be available for all your questions about application and admission procedure for undergraduate studies and recognition of foreign education. Uh, here, I would also like to point out that we have been spotting some misuse of the name University of Ljubljana and data regarding application and admission procedure from agent and agencies. Please note that application through agents and agencies does not guarantee you a successful application. Application is not complicated, just follow the instructions or contact us for help. So, Liliana, could you please tell us how was your experience with the application admission procedure? Um, yeah, so actually for me, it was uh, very easy and um, it is actually. Uh, I know that some students had some um, problems with application, um, some uploading scans of documents, uh, but you can always contact the information office, university, or faculty and they will always help you just follow all the steps and uh, you will see that is not that complicated um, just uh, be prepared to wait for answer if you're enrolled because um, there is a lot of students so uh, don't worry um, I perhaps got my letter from university in September and uh, that is pretty normal Okay, now a few information about fee. Uh, if you're coming from the EU country, Switzerland, Iceland, Liechtenstein or Norway, or from the country with which Slovenia has concluded bilateral agreement, these are Bosnia and Herzegovina, Northern Macedonia, Montenegro, Kosovo and Serbia. Uh, if you have or your parents, uh, if you have permanent residents, uh, or your parents or guardians are taxpayers in Slovenia, uh, you do not have to pay tuition fee for bachelor and master studies. Uh, and also, if you're coming uh, here as an exchange student, you do not have to pay tuition fee. But all students with already acquired equivalent degree of education all PhD students and all part-time students have to pay tuition fee. And you will also have to pay tuition fee if you are coming from a non-EU country with which Slovenia does not have concluded a bilateral agreement. 
Um, also, you have to take care of administrative costs and compulsory health insurance, which are not included in the fee. And this needs to be taken care of before the start of your studies. At the doctoral level, I would like to mention co-funding scheme for doctoral students. Uh, and you can find more information on uh, this website. Uh, for co-founding, you can apply if you're coming from Slovenia or from a foreign country. There are also some scholarship available. Uh, they are available through public scholarship development, disability and maintenance fund of the Republic of Slovenia. And at the moment they have open calls for a scholarship for doctoral study Christology and for postgraduate study for citizens of Angola, Jordan and Palestine. There are also scholarships for Slovenians uh, who are living abroad for bachelor and master studies. The call is expected to be published in August and uh, the scholarship is usually around 200 euros per month. And as a scholarship holder, uh, you will be also uh, can get accommodation in the student dormitory. The University of Ljubljana, uh, in cooperation with foreign university, conduct interdisciplinary and multidisciplinary studies, and we also emphasize international exchanges of students and staff. We are actively involved in many partnerships and association, and as our student, you will have many opportunities uh, for study exchanges or practical training at our par partner universities and other institutions. And of course, if you do not decide to study with us, you are more than welcome to spend a semester or, or two as an exchange student. Uh, but in this case, your university must have concluded um, agreement with our university, faculty or academy. So our university is also a proud member of Venice International University. This is a unique consortium of 20 universities from all over the world. Uh, where you can meet uh, students and staff from all over uh, the world. And VIU offers different exchange opportunities within the globalization program, various summer and winter school programs, thematic seminars, international PhD um, academies, internships, and many other activities. And in all activities are involved teachers and students from member universities. And um, this is a really unique experience because the activities take place in a multicultural, international, and interdisciplinary environment in Venice, in the island, on the island of San Servola, and uh, represent an excellent opportunity to creatively embrace new ideas and to build international contacts for development of your career path in science, diplomacy, and other creative professions. We are also part of Eutopia. This is a learning and research community of 10 new European universities. Uh, and Eutopia aims to promote mobility of students, acad academics, and other university staff through new ways of joint teaching and learning and cross-border cooperation. Uh, we are also working together to solve different local and global issues, and we try to actively involve students. If you're coming from the Western Balkan region and you are already studying at one of the university uh, in the Western Balkan, you can join uh, accredited extracurricular activities within the project Utopia 2050. Uh, you can join the seminars on public speaking, preparing and entering different calls, and also participate in Utopia activities taking place at the international level, such as Utopia Week, Conference, Biotopia, and ECOR, and many others. And so if you're coming uh, from Western Balkan, you're already student at one of the university and you are interested to participate in such activities, please send your interest to a uh, here listed email address. Our faculties and academies also offer many summer school courses. Um, we will publish list of summer school courses in 2022 uh, in April, uh, and of course, you are welcome to join uh, and attend um, these programs. 
Uh, now, just a few information about entering to Slovenia. If you are a citizen of the member state of the European Economic Area, you may enter Slovenia with a valid identity card or valid passport. Uh, third country nationals must acquire a visa or a residence permit from Slovenia Diplomatic Mission Abroad. And please note that uh, we cannot provide you support and we do not provide support for the visa application process and we cannot influence on this procedure. And due to the current situation, also please check our website where you can find updated information about border uh, crossing. And before coming to Slovenia, also make sure you have appropriate health insurance. So, upon coming to Slovenia, it is also necessary to register a temporary residence with the local administrative units offices. Um, we will also organize in September a welcome day where we will present you all activities and procedures related to coming to, uh, to your arrival to Slovenia. And you can also find more information on our website. Uh, so, uh, Liliana, would you like to add something here? Mm, the only thing I can advise you about it is um, to have all or almost all documents already prepared before you arrive in Ljubljana uh, so that you can speed up the process yourself. Um, so you can find that, um, everything you need from the documents on the university's website. So I'm sure a lot of work has already been made easier for you. So uh, don't worry. Uh, now, just uh, information about the accommodation. Uh, so in Ljubljana, only international students who are recipients of the minister's scholarship can get accommodation in the student dormitory. Otherwise, you have to find accommodation yourself. Um, we have prepared some useful links and information uh, to make easier for you for finding accommodation. And now also Liliana will share uh, with you her experience, how uh, she found uh, her accommodation and who helped her with all the procedures. Um, so finding accommodation can be uh, really stressful here. So prepare for that. Uh, students primarily live with roommates, uh, sharing one apartment. So I think with friends, it uh, wouldn't be that hard. Uh, my suggestion is to start searching at least in August. Uh, there are also options for some private dorms if you didn't get or you couldn't get room in a regular uh, dormitory. So the accommodation is the main part of your monthly costs. Um, and if we uh, talk about this monthly cost, um, I mean, if it's um, somehow I think it's very individual and it depends on your needs and lifestyle. Uh, but um, I think we can say that monthly you will need around uh, 400, 500 to 600 euros. Um, but again, it depends. And you can also work a student, um, as I said, so that uh, can also affect your budget. So here on uh, this website, you can find our students and graduate expressions who explain how is to learn with us and why they choose University of Ljubljana. And some of them also provided their contacts, so you can contact them for more information. Um, so uh, I would like to invite you to join us at the University of Ljubljana online Q&A sessions on 2nd March at 3 p.m. And uh, you are welcome to visit us at the vir virtual fair of education, Nakoi Fax, and visit our virtual booths with, where all the University of Ljubljana members are presented. Uh, so all three academies and 23 faculties. And uh, we will also organize our faculties and academies will organize uh, information days for masters and doctoral studies, but the dates will be announced at the later date. So just check, uh, the call for enrollment. Uh, I would really like to suggest you that you check our website, Study ULA, where you can find information guides 
which has been specially designed for international students who intend to study at the University of Ljubljana. You can find all information about application admission procedures, uh, available degree programs, and other additional useful information. And should you have any questions, do not hesitate to contact us at here listed email addresses. And uh, now, just Liliana, just for the end, before we start with the application and uh, admission procedure, um, what would be your advice uh, for prospective or to prospective students? Uh, so, I just want to tell you to go on this journey without any fear and uh, come to Ljubljana in a relaxed way. Um, it is a certainly a big step, but definitely a step that will change your perception of life uh, because you will have the opportunity to see and experience different way of living, independence, new people, languages, cultures, and you will experience how it is to be a foreigner. And um, it is a very uh, definitely a special uh, experience in life. And in addition to the fact that you will certainly work hard at the faculty in your development of academic and career life, um, I also want you to experience um, all these new things here and really enjoy. So now I would like to invite Tanya Zuzek from the Higher Education Application and Information Service to present you application and admission procedure. Uh, Tanya, we cannot hear you. Please unmute yourself. Okay, se um, vidi. Did you see? Yeah, uh, I'm going to show my presentation. Hello? Yes, we can. We can see your presentation, but maybe just um, um, mm. video. <laughs> Start video, okay. Okay. Okay, now we can Hello, see you. Everybody, welcome to the presentation admission procedure uh, for enrollment into the bachelor and single cycle master degree programs. The topic of our presentation today is uh, uh, to how to apply for studies at the University of Ljubljana. Uh, uh, we appreciate your time, so let's get started. First of all, here are our contacts. If you have questions about the application process, please write your question to, uh, to this email admission. If you have questions about the recognition process, write to em your email to the recognition. We also answer your questions by phone every day on published telephone numbers from February to October. And all important information on admission and recognition procedure is published on these websites. Important dates uh, are published there, uh, contacts, general information, uh, shorter schemes and longer leaflets are published there, and also timelines for candidates from uh, European Union, from non-European Union, and also for Slovenians without Slovenian citizenship. Uh, if you have problems with application, uh, you cannot complete the application, you cannot attach uh, documents, please contact this uh, ECATSA. Uh, and uh, we also have a new option for you to, com to, to communicate with you online consulting. You can register on the portal Hopper. And how do you join to a large family of students at the University of Ljubljana? By expressing your interest by applying to the study and how to apply to degree programs at the University of Ljubljana. The application form is published 
on the web portal Evasha. This is the most uh, important address for you. You can apply in two languages, either in Slovenian or in English, but uh, you must co complete all the steps in the application. And at the end, you must also send them electronically. At the Evasha web portal, I published seven videos step-by-step step, how to fill in application. You can submit the application with a username and password or with a digital certificate. Regardless of the method of submitting the application, it's sufficient to send it electronically. You need to be, care you need to be careful not to miss the end of the application deadline. I will tell you a little bit later when the application deadline starts. Um, and all dates are published on the Eversha web portal and on the web, web portal of the University of Ljubljana. The application and admission procedure begins each year with the call for enrollment. This publication is published on the Eversha web portal for bachelor and single cycle master degree programs are published the enrollment condition, the selection criteria, and also the number of enrollment places. This year, faculties and academies of the University of Ljubljana are published just under 9,000 enrollment places, enrollment slots for candidates from EU member states just under 800 enrollment places for foreign citizens from non-European Union member, stand, member, stand, member states and uh, just uh, over 400 enrollment slots for Slovenians without Slovenian citizenship. When can I apply? All dates are published on the University of Ljubljana website and on the portal EVASH. The first uh, uh, application period has already started. You can apply in two or three application periods and the date depends on your citizenship. If you are a citizen of EU member state or a Slovenian without Slovenian citizenship, you can apply in the first application period uh, from uh, 15 February to 18 March in the second application period from 19 uh, August to 23rd August, and in the last application period, in the third application period from 22nd to 23rd September. If you, are, you, if you have non-IU citizenship, you can apply from uh, February to 20 April in the first application period and in September in the second application period. First application period is open for all candidates. The most important thing is to apply for the study within the deadlines. Uh, it will no longer be possible to submit an application after the application deadlines. In the application, in order of preference, you can indicate a maximum of three degree programs into which you wish to enroll. The order of the degree programs are very important. The candidates will be placed in the first one for which they meet the conditions for enrollment. What does this mean? If you choose the study program pharmacy in the first place and uh, chemistry in the second and achieve enough points for both selected study programs, you will be placed in the first study program for which you will have enough, enough points, this case, case in pharmacy. The most courses are, uh, are performed in Slovenian. If professors agree, students can take exams in English too. Lessons are had in English at the two faculties, at the School of Economics and Business, and at the Faculty of Natural Science and Engineering. 
the University of Ljubljana must first recognize your secondary school from abroad. Recognition of education is required for all candidates with a foreign education certificate who wish to continue, continue their studies. Certificate do not need to be attached to the application by the deadline if you are in the last year of high school. You will attach them later. Uh, don't worry, you will have enough time. Those of you who have already finished your secondary high school, send them together with the application by the end of application period. All, all required documents have to be attached through the web portal EVSH electronically as, as e-copies or photos of the original certificate. Uh, here is the table uh, in which the required documents are written. You have to send electronically certificates from uh, all years of high school and the final certificate and also short chronological description, personal document and evidence of the Slovenian language examination at level B2 uh, for some degree programs. Uh, documents sent by regular, regular mail or email will not be considered. And after submitting the application, we will contact you, the employees of recognition and application service. We will be informed about the required documents, the important dates through the web portal EVSH. And a notification that you have to attach the documents will be sent also to your email address. Uh, candidate, candidates have to attach the a Slovene language certificate at level B2 on the portal EVSH if it is so required by a degree program. Here are written degree programs at the University of Ljubljana that require Slovenian language exam. You can take the Slovenian exam in Slovenia or in your country. It's important to take the exam at level B2. Uh, it's not enough for uh, enough just to finish high school to enroll in some degree programs. You also need to take a test of your talent. Mm. All degree programs that require a test of talents are written here. Dates of tests are published on the website of the University of Ljubljana and in the call for enrollment. The academy or faculty will send you an invitation to the test. And candidates uh, should contact the faculties or academies about the content of the test. If the degree program has limited enrollment, the candidates will be select based on, that, on the criteria published in the call for enrollment. Your grades need to be converted into the Slovenian grading system. Grading scales are published at our website and in the call for enrollment too. And after the selection procedure, we will send you an ad admission decision, just a little through the portal EVSH for Slovenians and, uh, from, uh, and uh, for candidates from European Union member states uh, by 22nd July and at the, latest, at the latest by 20 September for uh, citizens from not member states of the European Union uh, by 2nd September. If you are selected, you will be invited, invited to the enrollment by the faculty or academy via email uh, by 30 September. You will, you will be, uh, we will do our best 
not to make this administrative procedure too complicated for you. And uh, thank you for your attention and have a nice day. So Tanya, thank you. Uh, I already shared with you in the chat, uh, as you mentioned before, we will organize a special Q&A session on 2nd March at 3 p.m., where you will be able to ask us any question you still may have about the application admission procedure and recognition of foreign uh, secondary education. And now I would like to invite you to join to the selected breakout rooms. Uh, I will share again a uh, presentation. Uh, so uh, now we will open uh, breakout rooms from the, for the uh, Academy of Music, Faculty of Architecture, Faculty of Chemistry and Chemical Engineering, Faculty of Education, Faculty of Electrical Engineering, Faculty of Public Administration, and Faculty of Social Sciences. So uh, you have to click the breakout room in your meeting controls, uh, the breakout room you, in which you would like to join. Uh, so here you have information, you have to hover your pointer over the number uh, to the right of the breakout room you wish to join, click join, and then confirm by clicking join. And then you repeat as necessary to join the other breakout room if you would like. And then at 3 p.m. we will start with another um, Oops, uh, with another faculty, just a second, uh, I will share with you. So uh, at 3 p.m., yes, we will have Faculty of Arts, Faculty of Civil and Geodetic Engineering, Faculty of Computer and Information Science, Faculty of Nature, Natural Sciences and Engineering, Faculty of Maritime Studies and Transport, Faculty of Mechanical Engineering, Faculty of Pharmacy and School of Economics and Business. So now, please... Uh, select uh, the breakout room you would like to join. And if you need help, you can uh, send, uh, send us uh, in the chat or ask us uh, for help.